woke up, y'all. So excuse me, some sleep in my eyes, some shit like that, no trip. I was talking to a preacher a couple of days and I wanted to pass this message on to you all because it seemed to um, really help the preacher. I asked him if you believe in God so much, why do you have so much fear? And it's funny, I, I promise you I didn't try to do this. The shirt got fearless on it. That's crazy. D. Jones, Wallow. But um, I, uh, I was telling him like, man, Everybody always talking God, 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 God. But a lot of times the people who talk about God the most be the scariest motherfuckers. You know, they're afraid to go into a meeting. They're afraid to approach their enemies. They're afraid to move forward in life. They're afraid to move people. You know, um, I've said this before. Like if God literally bounced you on his or her knee, right? Your whole essence would be different. You'd be jumping off mountains and walking out in front of cars and shit. Pimp slapping cobras. But people talk God but don't believe it. I don't talk God that much. I don't have to. I know what God is. You know, but it, it it bothers me how people are trying to evangelize to me about God, but they're not bold. I can't see God in them. And if I can't see God working in your life, why you want to bring that to me? I told a guy that one day I was walking through the mall and he started evangelizing to me. And I asked him, I was like, bro, do it look like I'm all right? He said, yeah, it look like you're doing great. Why would you want to bother that? You know, you have to show people how God is manifested in your life before you try to evangelize or push people into God. Show me your boldness. Show me your fearlessness. You know? Black people talk about God more than just about any race that I've ever seen on this planet. But we in the worst situations. We've let people fuck over us and walk over us for years. And in most cases, when we're talking about God, we're talking about the God of our oppressor. Well, I don't think they you know, they don't have that kind of power, but over our enemies. And I don't think there's no kind of way that you can win if you're praising the same God that your enemy is. Especially when they control that God or how that God manifests on TV or radio or in regular life. That ain't freedom. That's being defeated, in my opinion. Dr. John Henry Clark say, if someone took your God away from you, and made you praise another God, and you'll never be free again until you get your God back. Be bold.